Hello lovelies, I'm back. This is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Hello family. Uh, today I wanted to do another video and um, I found this interesting um, article about the women of Chad. You know, I, um, I went to another channel. I decided I wanted to talk about our um, culture, you know, learning more about different African cultures and, you know, learning more about our indigenous Aboriginal roots. And I thought I'd do this video because I, I came across a, another YouTube channel and um, I sort of didn't like what they were saying. It was sort of um, biased saying that, um, you know, Aboriginal woman can't grow their hair. Or something like to that fact. And they were saying that, um, you know, we as Aborigines don't know how to, um, you know, aka African American women, we, we, we don't grow our hair. You know, we get these stupid comments, um, because, you know, in society, you know, there's a lot of things we face as, um, as Aboriginal women, uh, with discrimination and having to, you know, constantly be reminded, you know, telling us how we need to style our hair and you can't wear your braids to work and all this. And, oh, they want your hair straight and even though straightening and wearing perms damage and destroys our hair. And, you can, you know, it's just all these. And then when you wear a wig and everybody says, oh, you just want everybody else's hair but your own, but then you don't want to damage your hair. Then you want to wear your braids, wear your hair natural. People at the workplace, you know, great cockers always have an issue with it. And then the last thing we need to hear is our men bashing us about our hair. You know, they too see the discrimination, you know, and they have woven nappy hair just like us. It's not like you had a different, you know, hair texture than we do. But um, I just wanted to do this video, I guess, on, you know, about our, you know, how... And then and we also hear too, um, yeah, when we try to tell everybody we're indigenous here to the Americas, they go, the first thing they always mention is the hair. Oh, y'all can't be the Indians. Y'all hair is too nappy. It's too kinky. And, you know, I get tired of hearing that over and over again. Oh, y'all, y'all not the Aborigines, you know. We look just like the people, you know, if you look at the pictures, let me see if y'all will go with me and see if I'm going to click this button and see if I can move y'all over here. Let me see if I go. Yay, y'all made it. This is the, uh, this is not the real screen. This is not, the, well, let me see if y'all jump over here. There we go. Hey, I got it to work. <laughs> I'm being silly. But anyway, I was talking about, oh. Uh, I was looking at here. They showing the Aborigines right here. You see? They always talking about our hair is so different. See, their hair is woven just like mine. And they're just like, you know, our hair right here, the afros. And and then they have pictures. Um, this is what caught my eye right here. I like this picture. You see? And then first thing people say, oh, y'all hair won't do that because it's too nappy. Y'all got afros like right these guys right here. So you can't be the Indians. I say, yes, we can. And I'm going to show you how. We, and I'm going to explain all of this to you all. I'm, I'm going to jump right back over here to this screen here. Because <laughs> I get tired of hearing that, you know. Uh, what about our hair? I had to explain it to my son, too. I said, you know. Is we still that's still us, you know, those are our ancestors. You know, I believe my grandmother, and I'm pretty sure, you know, don't let superficial things deter us from believing who we are. And now, I was when I read articles, I wanted to talk about there was some articles I read about describing the Aborigines in their hair. Um, they always said that they use bear oil, and we as our 
you know, the only group of people that really needs oil on their hair all the time on a consistent basis is us because our hair is woven and needs oil. You know, gray cockatoids, they don't need oil on their hair. They produce their own oils. And most mongoloids, they produce their own oil too. So it doesn't make no sense for them to be, you know, saying, you know, they did that. You know, they don't really need it for their hair texture. And then another thing is they, they mentioned in some of the books that I read, I can't remember the name of it, but um, some articles they describing the, you know, the ancient Aborigines, the indigenous people here in America, as they said, their hair was, um, they used to slap, put oils and earth onto their hair and put it in twists and braids. And, and, and the group of people that does that all the time is uh, the people in, of African descent. So that's why I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about, I'm sort of trying to tie us into understanding our indigenous heritage. I think when we think about what happened to us as a group of t- people, we've been through a lot, you know, we've been through a whole lot. We've been brainwashed and, and now all this information is coming to us. We're starting to see some things. It's starting to make us real, it's starting to make me realize a lot of things, but you know, when you think about the slave time, we were taken, you know, I think about all the kids that were kidnapped during the slave trade. They kidnapped the indigenous people and threw them in the slave trade when they were kids. And you think about it as a, as a, um, educational uh, psychologist doing research and, um, as a, um, you know, as a behavior, uh, specialists and everything and studying this. So as a social um, scientist, a researcher and everything, my background is in psychology. I actually see what is going on here. It just comes, comes together. It makes sense, you know, because I worked with, you know, we work with foster children. So, you know, I see this hands on. When you pull a kid away from their parents at an early age, they're not going to know how to have all the social skills and stuff that's needed. Like um, they're not going to remember their heritage, you know, their indigenous roots. And that's what happened to us. We, I'm going to term it this way. We are like the foster kids, you know, of slavery. That's the best way to describe it. We're the foster kids of slavery because we lost everything. And when you think about it, if you take a kid from their child, a parent and throw them into slavery, they're not going to know how to care for their hair. They're not going to remember any of the culture or anything. And of course, you know, our hair is naturally coarse and kinky. And if you don't put the oils that's in, you know, that's made of the earth, it's going to draw up and it's going to turn into a, a, a kinky fro. And that's exactly what happened. And then if you're thrown out in the fields and working all the time, you're not allowed to take care for your hair. You know, that's how we were treated back then. And so the art of our hair, when you look back at these pictures here, brothers and sisters right here was lost. These are us. I know we don't want to believe it, but these are us. And I'm going to prove it. I'm going to show you how. You see how the hair is straight? We can naturally get that hair that way. I'm doing my hair. Once I started putting more oils in my hair, my hair started laying down better. And I have kinky hair. <laughs> y'all can look at my videos. Y'all see how, how kinky my hair is. I don't have that, that what the people call that good hair. You know, but hey, I, my dad always told me, all hair is good hair. But I'm going to stroll down on here because I wanted to share about the um, women of Chad is in Africa. Um... I was I saw this video on YouTube. I love the hair. And they have coarse hair just like me. And just like all, you know, African American, you know. And the reason why I wanted to show this video, I was showing, you know, they always show stories about the in Aborigines place uh put this different herbs and stuff from the earth and slap it on the hair. And it naturally lays it straight and Kept, kept it moisturized. So I'm just showing you the women of Chad 
I'm going to go back and show you the picture of them. Y'all come along with me. <laughs> Here they are. You see that hair? I was looking at this girl in particular. She looked a lot like the Aborigines here on those pictures. You see how her hair look? She uses the these uh the natural product from you know, natural stuff from the earth, you know, all natural. I'm not sure it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the video so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But you know, that's why I said we gotta look at our African brothers and sisters for help, because you know. A lot of stuff been erased here in America, so we have to piecemeal everything and look at um, some of the things that's in Africa because that's where we originate from. The Aborigines and Aborigines originate from, I believe, the east coast of Africa. And so um, the Chad is right flat in the middle of, um, I think, north north part of Africa, um, towards the middle. I think they're close to um, the Sudan the Sudan and Niger. So, and I think Libya is right on top of, of, of them um, further north. But yeah, you see how beautiful their hair is? They said that uh, women are Chad. They have hair just like ours. You see her hair? Isn't that, and look at hers. You see how it shines? Our hair do the same thing. And it'll grow. Just like that. And, you know, so... All this hype and stuff, you know, but I'm going to go ahead and get the article. You know, I can go on and on about this. <laughs> but I get tired of people talking about, y'all not the Indians. Y'all hair won't grow. I said, well, yes, it will. We got brothers and sisters who are using the same techniques. Y'all said they put herbs and stuff and mixed it up in a, and, and put, put, put on the hair. This is what they the people of Chad does. It's like an ancient type of a culture that has been done for centuries and it was done in the americas and that's how it was laying straight and had that shine and if we use the same products i'm pretty sure our hair do the same now i start laying my hair down i'm gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna probably buy this product but anyway it says um here this this uh i think this her name is uh sawa Pe peterson that's her name. I, th I think this is her website. It might be for her business. It just it talks about uh, sh sh Shabby. I think it's Chubby and Showy. Sh Shabby hair mixture recipe. Chad Women's Long Natural Hair Secrets. And then she has um, it bilingual, both in French and English. And it says, hello, everyone. I'm writing this article received several messages regarding traditional beauty products that we make. And it's, she pretty much going into details about the products. And she speaks of Shebi and Shawa in my mother tongues of the nomadic Basara Arab ethnic group of Chad, also known as Arab Bajara, literally the cow people. I have received ton of private messages on Facebook. But she's talking about how she got a lot of that. I found out about her on Facebook too. And then here she is. She's talking coming to chat. Um, hat, hat power is a product I knew know very well. I grew up with it. It is one of my many beauty recipes handed down to my mother and daughter and family for generations. I have done it many times with my cousin and aunts while in chat, literally in my backyard. So she's pretty much explaining, you know, this article about her, you know, her background and her family and everything and the customs of doing their hair. But I'm I'm not going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to have time to read all this, but I'm going I'm to just go ahead and play the video so y'all can see it. And here we go.
I'm going to fast forward this song. Get closer to the part of them doing that lady's hair. They're just showing you how they're making it. I'm going to fast forward a little bit, y'all. All right, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I'm going to put a link to the video so y'all can look at it more if y'all want to. But I'm going to just stop there at that um, point. I just wanted to show you all how, you know, we can grow our own hair naturally. And I get tired of hearing this negative stereotype. Oh, uh, Aborigine, you know, aka African American women can't grow their own hair. Oh, y'all are not the Indians because y'all, y'all hair is not look like the pictures of the people on the, um, you know, you know, the pictures and everything. And it's so sad that we can't even look at ourselves and realize that's us. You know, we've been so brainwashed to think that we are, you know, this disgusting group of people that's um, the color of, you know, black. And which we were not, we were actually brown, copper colored people. And yes, our hair do grow. And I just need, you know, just trying to get y'all to understand that, you know, we were actually foster kids in the slave trade. And so we lost a lot of the culture and the identity and all the stuff that, you know, you know, through the slave trade, you know, this great supremacy that took place here in the Americas. And like I said, we can learn from our brothers and sisters in Africa, from the Aborigines and, you know, um, to piecemeal and get some of the, regain some of the culture that we lost. That's all I'm saying. And I think it will help if we start supporting each other, you know, the brothers and sisters, Stop bashing each other and uh, love, you know, once you start loving yourself and knowing who you are as a person, the bashing will stop, you know. But I think a lot of um, brothers in particular, <laughs> you know, not, if you don't do this, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about the ones that want to bash us about our hair. But if your hair is nappy, then aren't you talking about yourself, too? <laughs> so, no, stop hate, self-hating on your stuff. And instead of projecting onto other people your issues about how you look and appear, 
then you need that's an inside job you need to take a look at you and see what's wrong with you and if you got to belittle people about their hair and their appearances especially those that look just like you your counterparts we're supposed to uplift each other as brothers and sisters and this bashing needs to come to an end and we like i said i did a video about affirmations and stuff and now this labeling system you know, we speak of negativity upon ourselves, but when we start speaking positivity, you're going to see a change in how you look and perceive yourself and how you perceive others. And I was just trying to get us to understand that the hair is just superficial. If you look at it, they put oil in the hair. Now I read up on how they put earth in this video. I showed you how they put the earth on their hair and I'm going to show you the women a check. See how their hair look? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm bringing y'all over here. You see how their hair look? You see how it, it looks long? All they did was put that earth uh, mixture in their hair, which we lost during the slave days. It's not the exact same style as the American Aborigines, but it's similar. You know, you see her? She, if you didn't know any better, you might thought she was an Aborigine. You know? Copper, no, all of us are copper colored. You see her hair? See how pretty it is? Our hair would do the same thing if we oh, put the right products in our hair. My hair started doing it. When I saw this picture here, I'm going to show y'all the picture that I was looking at. I, I saw this picture here, the California Indians. I believe these are the California Indians. And I saw how they were doing their hair. I, that's when I started saying, hey, I need to start my styling my hair the same way. And when I started moisturizing my hair and putting more oils and, and, and you know, I just moisturized it until ago. you might see some stuff on it. But um, my hair started laying down more. You know, I got a picture on Instagram with my hair. I took my hair loose. You can see I keep them in twists, you know, and it's I'm down my back now, you know, but I was just. And then y'all know that, you know, this is us. <laughs> we were foster kids of the slave trade. And if you were, you know, abandoned and mistreated as, a, you know, our ancestors were mis abandoned and mistreated, you know, uh, during the slave trade. I don't think, I wouldn't say abandoned. That's the world wrong term. I would say they were um, kidnapped. Okay, kidnapped from the parents. And if you had to protect a perpetual cycle of taking kids away from their parents for hundreds of years, you're going to have this chronic, you know, cycle that, you know, these issues that we're facing right now, you know, of having a lack of identity. And it's like we have to recreate that for ourselves. Uh, and it's like a piecemeal effect. But when I see the, uh, the Aborigines here, look at their hair. This is a slightly different style, but it's the same technique. Because I was reading books and articles about how they did the hair. They put bear oil on their hair. And then you look at the women of Chad, they use ostrich oil on their hair. Okay? I believe it's from the, I'm not sure it's, it's rather from the eggs. But they use the oils, you know, on the hair, similar to the indigenous people over here, you know, and how they, you saw how they mix the uh, earth products and, and then they put it in the hair. It's the same thing. Okay. It's the same thing right here, you know, and th these are us, these are our people. You know, and we need to trust our um, grandparents and what they told us. You know, why would they lie? And then a lot of stuff is coming to light. And we're starting to see that things, everything was told to us in reverse. And that's what made more sense. But I'm going to get this product. Um, here it is right here. Uh, stem, stem you grow. Uh, chest powder mist. I'm thinking about getting that for myself. I believe it's a sister in Africa that created this. And I think it's awesome that she did. And I, I think, you know, she, I think it's great that she's sharing her cult, you know, her product with us. And I think I'm going to buy me a uh, package to see how it goes, you know. 
I think I'm going to order one. I am. I'm going to order. And, and I think it's great to see uh, people of color um, actually going into business and doing something positive like that. And we need to support each other globally. You know, here in the Americas, we need to support each other and also globally, you know, because um, we can learn from each other. And I think this is great. And we still, we should try to research and find out what products were used here in the Americas. But I just wanted to say, this is superficial. This is how our hair will look. This is how our indigenous ancestors look with their hair. Okay, and you gotta remember that we were um, foster kids from the slave trade. You know, our ancestors, they were foster kids and um, victims of being um, human trafficking. It was human trafficking, they were prisoners of war. That's what was going on. But um, that's what I had to say, you know? That's what I had to, that's all I had to say about this. I just wanted to share um, my thoughts on this and how, you know, um, we got to look past, you know, I think we're so brainwashed and our self esteem and self worth has been stripped, you know, from all of this uh, discrimination for centuries of all the things that has been taken to us that we, can't even identify who we are when we they could show a picture of our great 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 grandfather who might have been an aborigine and you go oh that's not me and the person will just like you in the face <laughs> you're just looking at the hair going oh the hair is straight your hair your hair was straight enough too if you put the right oils in it we don't put the right stuff in there because we lost the, the knowledge because it was taken from us but we can learn from our brothers and sisters in africa and probably reincorporate it here back into the Americas and do it again and keep our hair looking good. We don't need all that heat and all those chemicals in our hair. Our hair will do the same thing if we take care of it and learn from, you no, know, learn from our indigenous roots and heritage. But that's all I have to say, you guys. <laughs> I was just getting, you know, going, going, people going back and forth about hair. I want to look at the bigger picture, you all. You know, hey. These are our people. If your grandparents said, learn to trust your grandparents, you know, it's better than listening to these great cockazoids in the history books because it's already been proven that a lot of this stuff has been nothing but a lie. You know, everything been told to us, the opposite of what it really is, you know, and we have to research and learn things ourselves. But uh, please like this video and thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I am on Facebook. I uh, also have a Facebook uh, community. Please like my Facebook page. Uh, also on Black Junction TV, I have a channel there. And I also have a um, Patreon, uh, GoFundMe, and also a um, PayPal. So I just put started those. So, um, Till next time, peace and be blessed. Bye-bye, family.